Everybody take out your Hamiltonian steps. So Hamilton's way. What is step one? Write the Lagrangian, right? So we are going to copy it down from Is that our step one? Okay, somebody tell me step two. Find generalized momenta for all okay. the coordinates in the system. Generalized momenta for what? For all coordinates in the system. So how many coordinates do we have? Two. Two. Good. What 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 are they? Theta and R. Theta and R. So that means I have to do what, and what is the generalized momentum formula? Partial L over partial Q dot equals P. So now how many do I, how many am I looking for? Two. So I'm looking for two, which means I'm looking for partial L over partial R dot equals P R. And I'm looking for partial L over partial theta dot equals P theta. That's two, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I tend to do to keep my bearing when I'm doing problems like this. So what is partial L over partial R dot? Equals PR. Yeah. And what is partial L over partial theta dot? Okay, now what is step three? Rewrite values from step two for Q dot in terms of what Good, rewrite. So that means this will become PR over M, and this will become P theta over MR squared. Uh, write the Hamiltonian in terms of the moment the I, and then. What's the equation? P, uh, that's very important, QI minus L. So this is very important to recognize. So what are P's and Q's in our case? R and thetas. So what will this become? It will become PR, R dot, plus P theta, theta dot. So this is a vital step, minus the Lagrangian, which is minus a half MR dot squared plus R squared, theta dot squared, plus V as a function of R. Do you see how the pluses and the minuses exchanged? Okay. So this is step number four, almost. What's step five? We express h in terms of momenta, h, h, times. Good. So now we need to find all of this in terms of only p's. So what we now need to do is take all of the values and replace them as many places as we can see them. So these two will go there. This will go here. And here, will I get H equals PR squared over M plus P theta squared over M R squared minus a half M PR squared over M squared plus R squared P theta squared over M squared R4 plus V as a function of R. Okay, can I then do one M goes away and one R squared goes away? So then will this become P R squared over M plus P theta squared over M minus a half p r squared over m plus p theta squared over m r squared plus v r. So these two terms are the same? One has a one with it, the other one has a half with it. p r squared over 2m plus p theta squared over 2m plus V is a function of R? We're in R squared. Oh, we're missing an R squared again. There we go. So the last step, <coughs> step number six. Substitute and solve P 
Hamilton Comical Equation. Hamilton's canonical, hold on, canonical equations. For how many coordinates? So what do the ha Hamilton's co uh, equations look like? Uh, so partial h equals two dot i. Good. And then, um, and then partial h over partial two i equals negative. Is it pi dot or pi? Okay, so this is our generalized coordinates. How many, how many coordinates do we now have? How many equations should we get? Got it? This is the beauty of doing it this way. Okay, so that means I will have radial canonical equations, and I will have angular canonical equations. Okay, what will my radial equations look like? This will be partial h over partial p r equals, which is going to be r dot, and this will be partial h over partial r equals negative p r dot. Uh, that's a good way of looking at it. Okay, what will this look like? Partial h over partial p theta equals theta dot partial h over <coughs> partial theta equals negative p theta dot. You see how they became four? <coughs> Two corresponding to each one. So make sure you write them in generalized coordinates at the top so you can follow them down as you're solving these problems. Is this going to be P R over M equals R dot? I am using equation A for my Hamiltonian. Is this going to be true? Partial H over partial P R. Is this one going to be, now I'm doing it over R, so I have to do this and that. We have to differentiate over R. R appears in how many terms? These two. Yeah. So it has to be differentiated. Twice. So that means I can write partial over partial R of P theta squared over 2MR squared plus partial V <coughs> over partial R equals minus PR dot. So now this will become P theta squared over 2M common partial over partial R of R minus 2 plus V over R equals minus P R dot. So this is P theta squared over 2M minus 2 R minus 3 plus partial V over partial R equals minus P R dot. So then what will we get? That gets canceled with this. So I am left with P theta squared minus divided by M R cubed plus V R partial over partial R minus P R dot. Okay. Can I differentiate this one with respect to T? What will I get? P R dot divided by M equals R double dot. So that means P R dot is M R double dot. Can I plug this value in here? So what will I get? Minus P theta squared divided by M R cubed plus V over V R equals minus M R double dot. So keep this in mind. Now let's all, let's come over to this side, pick a color. Purple. Well, it's already pur okay, oh, purple. Green. Purple is good. Sorry, we'll do green next. So then what would this be? I am looking at the same equation, this one, to solve for this. What will be partial H over partial P theta? P theta over M R squared equals theta dot. Does this mean I can say P theta equals M R squared theta dot? Yeah. Put this one in a box. Can I plug this value in here? 
So if I write this in green, will this look like m r squared <coughs> theta dot squared yeah. divided by m r cubed plus partial v over partial r equals negative m r double dot? Yeah. So if I open the bracket, will this become m squared r four theta dot squared over m r cubed? Mm -hmm plus partial V over partial R equals minus M R double dot. One M goes away, one R goes away. Am I left with minus M R theta dot squared plus partial over partial R equals minus M R double dot. Yeah. Have you seen this before? Yeah. Where did we see this? Is this not exactly the same? Oh, sorry. So MR double dot minus MR. Wait, hold on. Can I copy this? Hold on. I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to bring it down. Wow. Look at that fascinating thing. Yes, FR is a negative potential, right? Oh, yes, because be this will form. be defined as F equals minus partial V over partial R. Thank you. Okay, one last thing. One, this is, I promise this is going to be very short. Four steps or less. I promise. Yeah, four long steps. No, no, no. Four, four, four my steps. Okay, so we're left with this. Long steps, I'm just saying. We're just left with this last one. Can we just do this one? It is Am I right, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought I was going crazy for two seconds. You weren't saying anything. I'm like, the heck? Which means what? This is a dot? Yeah. Which means P theta is a? And P theta was what? D over DT of M R squared theta dot equals zero? Yeah. Does this, is this what that means? Yeah. Okay, how do we differentiate it again? Oh, M, M2 R R double dot theta dot plus R squared theta double dot equals zero. Have we seen this before somewhere? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I have. Yeah, right? It feels like we absolutely have. I've never seen that before in my entire life. And we have seen this one before too. Oh. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Right here. Everybody clap. Okay. Oh, there's an extra dot. Wait, why do I have an extra dot here? This should be. <gasps> Oh, good. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to do it very carefully. This should be a single dot. That should be a single dot. 